Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Sennheiser E906 microphone. It's an instantly recognizable microphone that's perfect for use on guitar amps as well as on drums and horns. The E906 has a flat front grille design that makes it ideal for guitar amps. It's so easy to position. In fact, many players and engineers just hang it over the front of the amp. There's no need for a mic stand. When I use it in this way, I like to make a loop in the mic cable, which helps to keep the mic in place. When you position the mic up close like this, you get a big, full, rich sound with a really nice attack. I generally start with the mic hanging in front of the center of the speaker. Then I move the mic around to find the ideal spot or placement to get the tone that I want. Now, depending on how your amp is set up, it may be easier to position the E906 on a mic stand using the included mount. Then you can move it around on the speaker and have it stay in place. Otherwise, if you're hanging the mic, you can use gaffer tape to hold it in place. In general, you'll get the most trouble from the amp in the center of the speaker, and the sound will get smoother, darker, and warmer as you move across the speaker cone toward the edge of the speaker. One thing to note, the front of the mic is clearly marked. It says front right on the microphone. So be sure you face the front of the mic toward your amp or sound source. The E906 can handle massive volume levels without distorting, so you can put it in front of the loudest amps and drums without problem. One other great feature of the E906 for guitar amps, there's a three position presence switch on the microphone. The switch is recessed, so you'll need a small screwdriver or something similar to change the setting. In the middle setting, the presence response is flat. It's great for rock sounds and clear clean tones with a natural top end response. When you move the switch to the up position, you get a nice upper mid boost centered around 4.2 kilohertz. This really helps the guitar cut through a dense mix and brings out the attack and the presence. Many metal players like this setting, and it's also great for down-tuned guitars to help them cut through a thick mix. With a switch in the down position, you get a presence roll-off. This warms up the top end, and it's great for smoother jazz guitar tones and warmer distorted sounds. Now, the Sennheiser E906 has a super cardioid polar pattern, which means that it's a really tight pickup pattern. It'll do a great job of rejecting feedback, sounds, noise, and other instruments from behind the mic. This makes it great for cleaning up the sound on stage and for isolating guitar tracks when tracking live in the studio. The E906 is a dynamic microphone. This means that it doesn't need external phantom power, and because dynamic microphones are mechanical designs, it's extremely rugged and durable as well. In fact, Sennheiser is so confident with how durable the E906 is, they provide the mic with a 10-year factory warranty. Frequency response is 40 Hz to 18 kHz, which is very wide response for a dynamic mic. 40 Hz gets you down into the range of the low E string on a bass, and 18 kHz is way up there in the spectrum where the delicate harmonics live. This makes the mic quite versatile. While it's ideal for guitar amps, give it a try on other sources as well. Try it on bass guitar cabinets, and it's great on drums of all types, and even percussion instruments. With its flat physical design, you can get the E906 in tight on snare, toms, and even kick drum, and the low profile means it won't get in the way of the drummer. Because of the high frequency response up to 18 kHz, the E906 makes a great choice to place under a snare drum as well. It will cleanly pick up the rattle and snap of the drum snares. Now on the snare, set the mic up so it's looking over the edge of the drum an inch or two above the head. I like to aim the mic so it's focused on the spot where the stick hits the drum head. This gives the most attack. Changing the angle of the mic and how close it is to the drum head affects the tone. The closer and more direct you aim the mic, the thicker and fuller the sound gets. And remember to experiment with all three settings for the presence switch when you're working with drums. The presence boost setting can really help bring out stick attack and articulation on percussion instruments, and the presence roll-off can help warm up bright instruments and smooth out percussion instruments. The E906 is obviously a great choice for guitar amps. This design is pretty much ideal for this application with its convenient shape and with the presence tailoring switch. But don't hesitate to put it on drums. It sounds great on toms and snares as well as percussion. You might even like it on kick drum. You should also experiment with it on other sources. It's a versatile mic that makes a great addition to your mic locker. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.